Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, January the 21st, entitled, Leading from the Middle. Now, as we've been talking about leadership over the last week, as we looked at that Sunday morning, one of the things that I talked about was the fact that there are leaders who will be leading large groups and, and those type of leaders that are very charismatic, that do uh, the things that we generally stereotypically look at as great leader things. But leaders are at all levels, and some of the most powerful senior leaders needed people with them that were what I call leading from the middle. Now, if we look at Moses, every bit of his uh, watch care over Israel, every bit of his leadership over Israel, Joshua is right there with him as his right hand, the one that is orchestrating and working with him to be able to do the things that God has put in his heart. Moses couldn't have done what he did had he not had Joshua right beside him the whole way. And then we look at Paul and the incredible ministry that he has in the New Testament. But Barnabas was the one they called the son of encouragement. He was an encourager. He was the one that first went to Saul right after his conversion. And before he was called Paul, Saul, who had persecuted the church, Barnabas was one of the few guys that would go to him. And he was the one that took Saul over to the disciples and said, you can trust him. This man was a middle leader that made a huge difference in the life of the church. And then we have John the Baptist, who prepared the way for Jesus' ministry. And John, at one point, makes this statement. In John 3, 27, it says, To this John replied, A person can only receive what he is given from heaven. You yourselves can testify that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I am sent ahead of him. The bridegroom belongs to the bride. The friend who attends the bridegroom, waits and listens for him, and is filled with joy when he hears the bridegroom's voice. And this joy is mine, and it is now complete. So he must become greater, and I must become less. John says, I did the work I was supposed to do. I prepared the way. Now I need to step out of the, the forefront here and support what he is doing, because that is what my calling is. That's what my job is. As we look at these middle leaders, we see three powerful lives that made a massive difference in the life of uh, the church and in the life of Judaism because they were great middle leaders. One of the greatest places you can grow in leadership, Joshua, after being a middle leader for a very long time with Moses, ended up being the leader being trained in that middle leader position. But every one of these, they were going, I know that I need to support this other person and lead along with them to make all of this come together. One of the greatest joys that you will know is being a middle leader. To be able to say, I know that my pastor or my uh, small group leader or my Sunday school teacher or my uh, boss at work or whatever that position would be, they need someone to champion them, to walk as that middle leader, to team up with them, to join arms with them and make a difference in this church, in this job, in this family, wherever it is. Middle leaders are powerful. And leaders who are out in the forefront need those middle leaders. So think about, are you called to be a primary leader? Or could you thrive as a middle leader and truly make a difference in a team that is making a difference in the world? So let's pray. Father, Lord, as we all find our place, middle leaders are powerful in the work that they do. And Father, I know many of the people that would be listening to this may be a middle leader type of person. Father, I ask that you would help everyone that can serve as a middle leader type of position, that Lord, you would just ignite them with passion to do so. And for every senior leader, that you would give them a heart to bless and to uh, encourage those middle leaders that walk with them and empower what they are doing. 
and that, Lord, you will fit the body of Christ together in a way that truly impacts the world. Do that in and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Middle leaders, step up, and I'll see you tomorrow.